my first tip is get healthy. Um, lose weight. Exercise. There are some real genuine things that can happen to cancer in a body that is not so healthy and a body that's healthy. I think a healthy body actually fights the cancer too. So get healthy. Start thinking about yourself. Eat well. I started uh, a program through my daughter, who's a uh, holistic nutritionist, uh, where she advised a, a, a diet of uh, gluten-free, caffeine-free, high vegetables, juices, um, some supplements. Uh, I lost 20 pounds uh, since I've been diagnosed uh, and kept it off. I feel better, uh, so in some way, the cancer is maybe a healthier guy. <laughs> and uh, it really uh, is important that, uh, that you take care of yourself. Have an open mind. Uh, have a generous heart. Um, uh, get uh, involved uh, with this journey. Um, be, be helpful if you can. Uh, to other people. Uh, in my experience since I've had prostate cancer, uh, two friends of mine have also been diagnosed and unfortunately uh, beyond me. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, Gleason 8 and another one is Gleason 7. Both of them are on uh, radiation and, uh, and so be as supportive as you can. Uh, and know that you're on, let them know you're on your team. And the last thing is, uh, again, make sure your family is aware. Uh, as I said, I, I didn't tell my family for over a year, other than my wife, of course. And uh, it was always on my mind. The reason I didn't, I wasn't quite sure how to. I wouldn't wanted to read more. I wanted to understand it. I was confused. I was basically angry. But, uh, as I said, once I told them, uh, it has been really freeing for both them and for us. They're happy to know. They were a little annoyed, in fact, that we didn't tell them right away. But they understand why. Um, but, uh, you know, when the time is right, and I say sooner than later.